Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here bringing you a brand new video this very festive Tuesday afternoon. Oh, what a weekend of football it was, people! It was absolutely unreal! Mbappe ran right at the World Cup final, but somehow Argentina came out winners. They're not my favourite team, people. I hate the gamesmanship, but what an achievement for Messi. He truly is the GOAT, and has that finally settled the debate about who's better, Ronaldo or Messi? Who knows? Maybe we'll even see Ronaldo at the next World Cup with what he's saying. So, Phenomenal result for Messi. Great result for Argentina. And do you know what's also great? We are back with a brand new opening today, people. Well, we are opening a brand new product. It's been ages since we had a brand new product. So we've been barren during the World Cup. But we finally have something in our hands here today, people. And we are going to be opening the brand new Panini Premier League Don Russ Elite Retail Box that contains 200 cards with a chance of an autograph or memorabilia card inside this box. It's really, really exciting, people. For you guys that remember Panini's score, that was released earlier this year. It's a very similar format, 200 cards, a load of different inserts, and it's a UK exclusive retail product, which is only the second ever time this has happened to us. We truly are blessed here, people. Panini is delivering big for us this Christmas, and hopefully there is a nice, decent autograph card hiding away in here. And you know what? Just like usual, people, I'll tell you what's included, go through all the inserts, and we'll rip this bad boy open in today's video. But before I do so, people, if you enjoy today's video, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe. Never miss a single soccer card opening from your boy Blazy. And be sure to hit that bell uh, to make sure you get all the notifications about when we go live. But for now, people, sit back, relax, enjoy today's video, and let's check out this brand new collection. So here it is, people. We have the brand new Panini Premier League Don Russ Elite Retail Box ready to rip for the channel today. And I tell you what, people, it's like I said in the introduction, it's really exciting to have a UK exclusive launch and there is the chance of an autograph and memorabilia card. And if I flip this box over, people, you will see, and I'm not going to focus it on the camera here because it's so difficult, but you can see there are so many different insets and parallels available in this. It is really, really exciting. And as usual, people, I'm going to break this down to you nice and easy. Each box costs £80, in which you will get 20 packs each containing 10 cards. From that breakdown, you will get 12 insert cards, five red exclusive parallels, and three numbered cards. There is also the chance of an autograph or memorabilia card. This is every two in five boxes uh, from a 10 box case. So you have got a decent chance of getting yourself an auto or memorabilia card. Downside for me on this one is that they are the 2021-2022 season. So no new signings like Haaland and Gimiares. And the auto checklist isn't great. You've got some great throwbacks like uh, Van Nistelrooy and Bergkamp, but there's not a great autograph checklist. No Ronaldo in this one. No big boys hiding away, unfortunately. So overall, it's a four out of five stars for me. For those interested, you can get it exclusive at Panini UK. Or if you're looking to go outside of Panini, I know at Resale, Sports, uh, Sports Cards Direct, Sports Trading Cards UK, and Luke Solve Collectibles are all selling these. So head down to their people and you're looking at about £80. Shout out Panini. They use DPD. It means it comes really quick with all these Royal Mail strikes. So they're definitely my recommendation on this one. Uh, that's where I got mine. When you look at the inserts available, people, there are four insets available. You've got the Elite Deck, Primary Colours, Spellbound, and Star Status. You're going to get 12 of those per box. When it comes to autographs, you've got the Back to the Future autographs, you know, from cards from the past. You've also got pen pals in there as well. Memorabilia-wise, you've got spark plugs, which sounds really, really cool, doesn't it? And you've got throwback threads, uh, which again, we're going back to some historic players. I think Viali from Chelsea's in there. So plenty of chance here, people, are getting something nice. We're gunning for an autograph. We always got so unlucky with Panini score. We never got an autograph card. But today might be the day we break our duck. Obviously, no Ronaldo or Messi hiding away in there, but hopefully we can get something decent. If I had to go through the auto checklist myself, uh, my preference, I think, would be Dennis Bergkamp. Imagine getting a throwback Dennis Bergkamp autograph card. That would be absolutely mad, people. We are going for it today. We are going for that autograph. So get these open. Very nicely packaged. Very aesthetically pleasing, I'm going to say as well, people. Look how nice those packs look. Nice and thick. They put a filler card in there, I think, as well. So you can't tell whether you've got a memorabilia card or not. So people can't go around the shops and feel. That pack is really, really thick, as you can see. Uh, but from what I've heard, people, they are using fillers this year, Panini, so that you don't go away uh, and fill the packs in the shop. You can see we've got another thick one there. Again, uh, shows us that Panini are thinking about what they're doing, which is cool. Nothing worse than someone goes up and touches up all the packs in your local Smith's Toy Store. So we got that there, people. Another pile. We have got five piles right there, people, and we are ready to get ripping. So here we go, people. First Panini Premier League 
Don Russ pack is being opened right here, right now. There's something nice and shiny uh, in there. I don't know what that means particularly. I think they're all shiny by the look of things. Hey, look at that. A very, very nice looking collection. This We start off with Ozan Kabak uh, of Norwich City again. You can see they're 2021-2022, uh, which for me is a little bit disappointing now we started a new season. I would have liked to have seen all the transfers and whatnot. It is a downside with this product. When you look at the shine, it's really, really nice. Uh, if you like me and you open a lot of premium cards, you know how nice Panini Prism is. You know how nice Topps Chrome is. It doesn't look or feel as good. So it's nice when you've got a cardboard product that Panini have had a little bit of shine to that. So you've got the player on the front, Premier League ball that's quite cool imposed there. Uh, and you've got a little bit of a fact about him there on the back. But obviously, Norwich are no longer in the Premier League. So first card right there, people, is an Ozan Kabak of Norwich City. First base card. We've then got Nikola Vlasic of West Ham United, a Tino Livermento, who was insane last year as a rookie uh, for Southampton, has disappeared a little bit now. Daniel Backman of Watford. We then have our first insert of the day there, people, hiding upside down. It is an elite deck. Rodri right there, people. And that's got a little bit of like a, uh, a poker card design, hasn't it? It's got like a love heart, almost looks like a spade up there as well. It's a spade even, is it? It's not a love heart. I don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, again, a nice little fact about Roger on the back. We're going to get 12 of these inserts inside today's video. So it's nothing too rare, but a very nice looking elite deck Rogery card right there. That is nice, people. Nice insert start today's video. We're going to put the base cards on the right because I'm right-handed. Uh, and I'll make a right mess of this video if I don't put them on the right-hand side. Uh, first of all, pack opening problems. We then got Mohamed Salah of Liverpool. Mason Mount, disappointing World Cup personally for him, I think. Expect more from England when he plays for them. We've got Martin Odegaard having an absolutely unreal season for Arsenal. And we finish off with a Jordan Pickford and Christian Ayer rookie card. Do you know what, Jordan Pickford? I'm a Newcastle fan, so I'll give him a lot of stick. But I think he played very well for England at the World Cup. Got to give him that. I'm a big Tim, um, obviously Nick Pope, Pope fan, but... It's uh, it's nice to see him playing well for England, Pickford. It's nice to see him playing well. So we're going to go from the front again, just making sure we've got them all the right way around. We've got Lutza of Watford right there, another championship player. Timu Puki, their penalty king for Norwich City. We've got side Ben Rama. Max Ahrens, who looked very, very good at right back for Norwich. Again, had a challenging season in the Premier League. Could still see him getting a move at some time. We've got Ibrahima Kanate of Liverpool. Next insert. Oh! So, Cristiano Ronaldo, Donruss Elite insert. So, very, very nice insert to get. If I was going to get one, I wanted it to be a decent player on an insert. Uh, it's not Donruss Elite even. It is a spellbound Cristiano Ronaldo. So, very, very nice card in today's, people, in today's video there, people. 800 career goals of club or country. Challenging World Cup for him. Challenging season with Man United. I do feel very, very... Oh, it's textured as well. It feels really nice. It's like got a texture to it. It's like embossed. Very, very nice card. I feel very sorry for him with what's happened at Man United. I know a lot of other people will just go out there and criticise him straight away. I get it. Some people don't like the way he went about it. But for me, if we worked at toxic workplaces in real life, we'd probably be very upset as well. So I think we've got to give him credit for that. And look, at, just look how well Harry Maguire played for England as well. Tell me the problem isn't Man United because to me, it 100% looks like it. We've got Rafinha for Leeds, uh, now with Barcelona. Robert Sanchez, Simicas, who looks great for Liverpool at the moment, and Kai Havertz from Chelsea. So two inserts out of the 12 we're going to pack from today's video. No autograph or memorabilia card yet, but still plenty of packs here to open people, as we've got Andrew Omer... Omer God, I can't talk today. Omoba Minden Mindele of Norwich. We've got Thomas Suchek. We have Romain Peroud, a Jared Bowen, Matt Ritchie, first Newcastle United player from today's video. Why I, man? Next one is a silver insert of some sort. Primary colours, and it is a primary colours. Cucho Hernandez of Watford. Again, a very nice looking card. I'm loving the yellow and black design there, people. Probably varies per club, but that is a very, very nice looking insert card there, people. Really nice, that. Three packs, three inserts. Um, no coloured parallels yet, um, but some nice insert cards. We then have Mason Mount of Chelsea. We've got Martin Odegaard of Arsenal, Jordan Pickford and Christopher Ayer. Lots of duplicates right there, people, which isn't great. Panini score, right? You barely got any duplicates and it meant with a 12 inserts. You were probably only missing about 12 cards from your collection. 
But that is a lot of duplicates so far for today's video. We definitely have at least three of those players. And it was only like two packs ago. Not a fan of that, people. Not a fan of that. This also hasn't had anywhere near as big of a launch as Panini's score. Panini's score was mad. People were going mad for the Ronaldo autographs. There would be an open left, right and centre. That card is dented. That's really annoying. Um, but yeah, they don't seem to have had as big of a launch Panini score. And for me, the quality is a little bit off for me at the moment. But anyway, nice looking set with Luke Shaw of Man United. We have a Song Kyung Min, not wearing his face guard in this one, of Tottenham Hotspur. Second best Bruno in the league, Bruno Fernandes. Less said the better. Armando Brogia of Southampton. We've got a Bobby Firmino of Liverpool. And I think we're coming up to insert territory if we've got one. Nope, it is a Samuel. What's Samuel? I can't talk. It's Seamus Coleman of Everton. Rico Henry. A Jamie Vardy having a party of Leicester City. Uh, Dwight McNeil of Burnley. And a Virgil van Dijk base card. So a pack full of base there. I'm just going to double check we've not missed anything so far. Because everything looks shiny. Unless this is a red here. Because that looks slightly different. Maybe it's the other way around. Um, yeah, so far I can't tell if we've missed anything here. But it doesn't look like we've got any coloured parallels, does it? There's a lot with reds that side. A lot with colours that side. I don't think we've missed anything. I don't think we've missed anything, people. But yeah, no number parallels so far. It seems a little odd. Uh, and no reds either. Um, we're not doing the best from today's video. I've also not watched anyone else open these yet because I wanted to be excited. I wanted to see the product for myself. This is one of the thick packs, people, with the filler cards uh, to stop you guessing whether there is a memorabilia card inside. So maybe we've got a numbered parallel hiding here. We start off with Milo Rishka of Norwich City. We've got Mikel Antonio. Miggy Almiron having the season of his life at Newcastle. War Miggy. I'm very, very happy for Miggy. Very, very big Almiron fan. Uh, we got Adam Ida. Ah, uh, it's a filler card. First one is a filler card, people. Look at that right there. Yeah, nice, thick filler card. It's annoying, isn't it? But hey, no memorabilia in the first one, and it's stopping people filling up those packs. And a very, very nice insert card here, people. We have got a star status. Uh, Eduard card. Look at that. That looks nice. Uh, again, not numbered or anything like that. But we've got a star status, Eduard. Very, very good looking card that, isn't it, people? That is nice. I'm liking the design of these insert cards. I think that's one thing Panini have done a good job of with the set is the inserts look absolutely great. We're going to move our base out of the way there, people. And we're going to get Eduard slapped down right there. But a very nice looking card. And there is all four inserts now, people, that you will get from this collection. So keep an eye out for those if you rip some of these packs. We then have ourselves to finish off Andros Townsend, once Newcastle. We've got David Rea. We've got Rodrigo Moreno of Leeds United. Jack Grealish. Very happy he finally apologised to Miggy Almiron. And we finish off with a Tyreek Mitchell. So, not the best from the first five packs. Not the best. But, as I said, we have plenty of packs to be getting through today, people. So, let's move on to pack number six. We'll try and get this going, people. I know you guys like it when my videos are a little bit shorter. So, you don't spend all evening watching me open cards. We've got Kevin De Bruyne of Man City. We've got Nathan Collins, a Vladimir Kufal of West Ham United, a Ozan Kabak again. We've got Nikola Vlasic again. So, Cristiano Ronaldo. We have the goat himself there of Man United. And again, the design is a little bit different uh, in the bottom right-hand corner. Maybe that is a red. I'm going to pause the video and check in a second, people. We'll leave them to one side. We've then got Sergi Canos. We've got Kasper Schmeichel. We've got ourselves James Tarkowski and a Bernardo Silva. And give me two seconds, people, because I think that might just be a red. So, people, we have had a little bit of a mare and I was spot on. This is a red parallel, Cristiano Ronaldo, of which there are five non-number parallels per box. And we also got a Bobby Firmino earlier on in this video that we totally missed. So we actually have two red parallels so far. And what a great red parallel to get. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of our two red parallel cars it's my first look at the collection people i do apologize we missed this one but we will catch all the colored cards going from here but yeah cristiano ronaldo people red parallel what a card to hit would have preferred a number one people you know a number to 10 cristiano ronaldo would have been a very pretty hit from today's video but hey we take it and move and we'll get everyone in camera there that should do us very nicely so still no number cards people but Two reds have already been found. We have three more reds to go from today's video. Plenty of inserts and 
a chance at an autograph or memorabilia card. So we've got Daniel Balkman. We've got my boy, Callum Wilson. Got a great 15 or so minutes at the World Cup. Would have loved to have seen him score. So unselfish, given that goal to Grealish. What a guy. We've got Eric Dyer. We have a rookie, Edouard. Martin Odegaard for the 20th time. And I think that's a red. We have a red Martin Odegaard from that pack as well, people. Third red of the day is Martin Odegaard. You can see it's a red from the red line going up there. Uh, so he goes alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and Bobby Firmino. So three reds uncovered, still three numbers to find, uh, and a host of insert cards. We've got Pereira. We've got Josh Brownhill. Cole Palmer rookie card. Cannot beat a rookie Cole Palmer. And a Joachim Anderson of Crystal Palace. Followed by Jacob Ramsey. So almost halfway through these packs, people. Still no number cards. Still no sign of that autograph on memorabilia. But we will keep on going, people. Come on, we want a decent number card from this. Something like a Kevin De Bruyne or Ronaldo would be absolutely insane. Right, we have got ourselves Jan Bednarek of Southampton. Followed up with a Matthias Norman of Norwich City. Uh, Chukawema. We've got Isaac Hayden, great servant for Newcastle United, is Mayla Saar. Oh, first numbered boy of the day. And it is nothing too special, but we have got Emmanuel Dennis. And you can see he looks like a, I want to say like it could be yellow. He's numbered 49 of 74 there, people. That's how you can tell it's a numbered card. And he looks like he's got like a red and yellow side around him. I'm just going to pick up the box which I've kind of like just discarded on the floor right here to see if we can tell what colour he is. Uh, looking at the colours, you've got base, orange, pink, purple, gold, green, black. It could be any of those. Looking outside the light, it looks like it could be an orange. Orange would make sense on this one, people. It's definitely not um, pink, purple, gold or any of that sort of stuff. But we've got Emmanuel Dennis as our first number card from today's video there people this is actually a really really difficult set when you compare it to score it was so easy to tell what color you had but we have a emmanuel dennis right there of watford and i'm running out of space he's gonna have to slide up here until we finished off the next two packs and we'll do a little bit of a jiggle a little bit of a jiggle wiggle wiggle and get that back in the right place but it looks like we have an orange emmanuel dennis number to 74 right there first number card of the day followed by douglas louise We've also got a Tariq Lamperty, a Mohamed Salah again, and another Mason Mount. So many duplicates in today's video, people. We're going to have to do some trading to get this collection complete as we crack in to the final couple of packs until we get halfway. So final few, and we've definitely got about 10 to go. We've got on here Christian Romero, now a World Cup winner with Tottenham. We've got Kevin De Bruyne, Nathan Collins, a Vladimir Kufal, of West Ham United. A Spellbound. Spellbound Alvin Tony. Very, very awkward this one because he has been charged by the FA for betting offences. Not too sure whether he's going to get any game time in the future. It doesn't look likely. But we have a Spellbound Ivan Tony. And we're going to put uh, the goat over the top of him. So Spellbound Ivan Tony. Uh, we then got Dwight McNeil. A Virgil van Dyke. Had to check he wasn't a red there. Christian Benteke. Douglas Louise and a Tariq Lamperty base card. Right, coming into the fat pack here, people. Is there an autograph hiding away inside this pack? Here we go, people. Is it another filler card or is it a memorabilia? Let's find out here, people. We have got ourselves Lucas Moura's base. Jao Cancelo, very disappointing World Cup. Flipping it round. Is this another red boy? Is it a red? I cannot tell. I don't think it is. We have got a Che Adams base card. We have Key Janahueva. That's disappointing. Another pretend, another pretend memorabilia card hiding in there. Drop that slab down. We then have a Spellbound Harry Kane with the A symbol on there. Our third Spellbound card of the day uh, with Ronaldo. I don't know if these spell anything out, but we've got a Ronaldo, Tony and Harry Kane right there. Three spellbound cards from today's video. Uh, we're just going to move these around now. Now that we've got a second, let's get our reds up here. Uh, and let's focus on the numbered cards towards the bottom. So, moving on to the rest of the pack here, people. We have got ourselves Pastel Strick. We have Neil Morpay, Andy Robertson, Edouard Mendy, 
and Emil Smith Rowe. So nothing else hiding right there, people. Still a few more packs. We're halfway through today's video. Is the second half of the video going to deliver that autograph or memorabilia hit? Let's find out, people. Let's find out. Next pack here. God, I tell you what. I don't know how some other YouTubers open boxes of 20 packs in like five minutes. I tell you what. They have unreal speed. So we have got Callum Wilson of Newcastle. Eric Dyer. A, another Eduard with what feels like the 30th Eduard of the day. We've then got Lucas Mora. Another Spellbound. We are getting all the Spellbounds today. We have Spellbound Phil Foden uh, for Manchester City. Look at that. All these Spellbound cards. I don't know if they spell anything, um, but we've also got a Phil Foden hiding away there. So maybe we'll have to put them by number at the end. Tony's number 20. Got number six, number 39. Um, there looks like too many to spell anything out, but... Yeah, look at that. Four Spellbound cards. Spellbounds are loving today's video, aren't they, people? As we keep the vibes pumping with James Madison, who'll hopefully play for Newcastle United after the next window. Ben Me, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Romelu Lukaku in that failed Chelsea move right there. And we've also got another Rafinha of Leeds United. Huge pile of base cards now piling up, people. That is what you get when you open a box containing 200 cards. You will get a lot, people. So, moving on right here, people. We have got ourselves Bruno Fernandes. We got Armado Brogia. Very nasty leg break of Chelsea the other day. Really hard to watch. We got Gineppo. He Chan Wang. Mateo Kovacic, numbered card. Look at that, people. We have got another numbered card. And this time it is a numbered 54 of 91. It says aspirations on the side. Mateo Kovacic. I don't really know why it says aspirations, although the other numbered card also says aspirations. Doesn't really make a lot of sense, Panini. Can't sound really getting to the bottom of this one. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. And again, we're going to have to check these colours at the end because they look exactly the same, don't they, people? Not the best design, Panini, when it comes to numbered cards. So I've used that time there, people, to quickly jog some things around because I know you guys want to focus on the hits from today's video, not all those boring base cards. So we've got our inserts across the top and we've got our numbered and red parallels towards the bottom there, people, as we move on to the end of this pack. We've got ourselves a Goodmanson, Edison... Jeffrey Schlupp, Erzy Konsa, and a Daniel James to finish off that pack. And we still have eight more packs to go to find an autograph card and that numbered card that is still eluding us. We still have one more within these packs, people. We have got ourselves Musa Soko Watford, Michael Elise, we've got Pierre Emil Hoiberg, so Cristiano Ronaldo, what feels like the 100th time in today's video, but I wouldn't moan at a coloured parallel. Uh, we've got ourselves Ibrahima Diallo, a star status, Thomas Tuchek, our second one of today's video right there, people. Very nice looking insert. It's two star status is secured, another James Madison, another Ben Mee. This is exactly the same formation as one of my other packs, isn't it? We got that exact same end to the pack a few packs ago. It looks like some packs have a certain configuration, people. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Really nice to have a UK re exclusive release set. Have to be honest. The designs, the format of this, the colours, I think it's really lazy. I'm not a big fan of this collection, having opened a few packs now. Hopefully we'll get an autograph to even this one out, but it's not It's not anything too spicy, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we've got Tino Livermento right there, Daniel Barkman, Callum Wilson, Eric Dyer, Eduard, rookie card, Diallo, red. I knew we were going to get an insert uh, or a parallel at the middle of that pack, and we got ourselves a red Ibrahima Diallo of Southampton. So only one more red to find in today's video. Uh, as we finish off with Conor Gallagher, didn't get any minutes at the World Cup, bless him. Emiliano Martinez, cannot stand him in goal. Hated that gamesmanship. We've got a rookie Somerville and we've got a base Bobby Firmino. Right, come into the fat pack, people. Come into the fat pack. What is hiding in the fat pack, people? Is it an autograph or is it a memorabilia card? Surely... We're going to do better than we did last time here, people. What is hiding away? We start ourselves off with Luke Shaw right here of Man United. Hyung Min Son. Bruno Fernandes. Armaldo Brauja. Brauja even. Moussa Gineppo. I'm going slowly in case there is something. Here's the thick card. 3-2-1. Great memorabilia card, this people. Look at that. Lovely, thick, you know. Cristiano Ronaldo patched this. Lovely. Disappointing. Right, 
Final few cards of this pack. We've got a Romelu Lukaku Spellbound. Another Spellbound for the collection. Uh, we've got a lot of those in today's video, which is uh, pretty cool. So another Spellbound, this time Romelu Lukaku. We then finish off with Daniel James. We've got McAllister, World Cup winner with Argentina. Uh, a Daniel James, or Reese James even, and Thomas Partey. The fat packs, though, are really bad. Look at that, people. Because those bits of card are so thick, they actually bend all the base ones. Again, another little L from Panini there. I know they're trying to hide the memorabilia cards, but none of us want bent cards in our binder, do we, people? That is not the one. Oh, this set. I've been so excited for it to come out, and it's been a little bit of a letdown, hasn't it? We are going to have to get our vibes going for Match Attacks Chrome when it comes out, but no one knows when that's going to be. So, Shell Cancelo. We've got ourselves Che Adams of Southampton, uh, Jenna Hoiver. Oh, final number to the day. No, yes, no. I don't know. Looks like it could be numbered. Looks like it should be numbered, but it's not. It doesn't say aspirations or anything. There is no numbered on it, but it looks like an orange. It's definitely not normal because it's got two colours. But that's not promising people to end today's video if this is our final uh, coloured parallel of some sort. But we've got a Jordan Pickford right there of some sort. It just hasn't got a number on it or no aspirations like uh, Kovacic has next to it if you're looking at it. Uh, so not too sure what that is. Uh, we've then got ourselves Meslier, Trossard and Didi. Nick Pope. Why is he not in the Newcastle kit? And Aaron Ramsdale. So we're going to have to do some research when I do the summary for today's video, people, because I have not got a clue what that is unless there's non-numbered coloured cards. Maybe it's a red. Maybe it's red. Uh, do you know what? It could be red there, people. Do you know what? I think I've just got it. What the trick is, is right, all my other red parallels have red kits. So they've all got red in the corner. This one's got blue in the corner. It's the first time it's a non-red club. So I think it's just a red parallel. There we go. One more numbered still to come. And four more chances at an autograph or memorabilia card. As I said, there will be two autograph and two memorabilia boxes per case. So there's a two in, four in ten chance, two in five chance. We've got an autograph on memorabilia. We've got my boy, Alan St. Maximan, looking great on that design, isn't he? The step over king. We've got Sergio Reguillon. We've got David De Gea. De Gea. We've got Jacob Moda. A Jose Sa. Right, insert or parallel. What is coming? Insert. I think it's another spellbound. Spellbound Romelu Lukaku, which I think could be the second time for today's video. He's got a K. Any other Ks? Yeah, I've got another Romelu Lukaku. That one has a U on it. That one has a K on it. I do not know again what that means. Do they just have a random letter? That's number 30. That's number 33. So is there two Spellbound Lukakus? I don't understand, people, what that means. If you understand, tell me in the comments. But that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> We've got two Romelu Lukaku Spellbounds. They've both got different numbers on the back and different letters. Yeah, we're going to have to do some research right there, people. But we've got Romelu Lukaku Spellbounds. Uh, we've got Christian Benteke, Douglas Louise, Tariq Lampety, and a Mohamed Salah. Another confusing moment in today's video. This feels thick. This feels thick, people. Maybe I'm just getting my hopes up. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I've just lost it. Maybe I've been opening too many packs. It just feels a little bit firmer than usual, this pack. That could be a good sign here, people, when we finally crack into this one. Have we got that autograph hiding away in here? We would love a Dennis Bergkamp one. Let's take a look. We've got Truce de Kong of Watford. Martin Depravka, now Man United's fourth choice keeper. Not too sure what that move was about from Newcastle. Um, still love the guy we'd have him back in a heartbeat. Uh, bit pot kettle black, that, isn't it? We've got Christos Tezolis. We've got Jalen Sancho. Very unlucky not to go to the World Cup. It's just an insert. Star status. Kai Havertz of Chelsea right there. Got rattled by Newcastle, didn't he, before the World Cup. We then have ourselves a base Mateo Kovacic, Kieran Tierney, Seamus Coleman, Rico Henry, and Jamie Vardy to finish off that pack here, people. Final two packs, still missing a numbered card, still got the chance of an autograph hiding out there in these final two packs. Let's take a look. We start off with one of my boys, Joe Willock right here of Newcastle United. We've got Brian Mabuemo. We've got Luke Shaw of Man United, another Son who Min. We've got loads of those. We've got a, oh, I think it's a numbered. I think Kieran Tierney is our last numbered people. Kieran Tierney, numbered 
to number 49, 5 of 49. Here's our third numbered card in today's video. He doesn't say aspirations next to him, bizarrely, on this one. He is a numbered 5 of 49, pink, and I can say that for some certainty, Kieran Tierney of Arsenal. Right, one more pack here to get an autograph, people. One more pack to get an autograph. We're going to skip through the rest of this pack. Charlison scored an unreal goal at the World Cup. Vissa, Pats and Daka, final pack magic. This is it, people. Is there an autograph hiding away inside this final pack? It's do or die time now, people. It is do or die time. Let's take a look. We have Anthony Alanga, Emerson Royale, Joe Gelhart, Max Kilman, Mohamed El Yanoussi. Anything here? Three, two, one. I wasn't going to believe that we were. Autograph hit, people. Pen pals. Oliver Skip is our hit from today's video. Ah, oh, I thought that was just a blank slab coming up. Oliver Skip, pen pals. What a thick autograph card. That is the thick... Wow, that is one of the thickest cards I think I've ever seen. Oliver Skip, autograph card of Tottenham Hotspur. Wow. That is not going to fit inside any sleeve or protector I have. Numbered to 199, we have an autograph Oliver Skip from today's video. First autograph hit, people, from a normal box in a very, very long time. And we had to wait for it. We had to wait an awful, awful, awful long time. But final pack magic, people. Oliver Skip, autograph card from the Donruss collection. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I do not know how to feel about that. I'm going to rest him in the middle for now. Oliver Skip autograph card. It's not Dennis Bergkamp or Nistel Roy. Would have been sick, but we still got an Oliver Skip. Uh, another spellbound Cristiano Ronaldo. So this time the O. It does look like they all have a different design. So maybe it smells out Ronaldo if you put it in a binder. It's number 40 and 39. So yeah, maybe that is what it is. A different dynamic image and it spells out the player's name potentially. So Cristiano Ronaldo. Spellbound. We've then got James Tarkowski, Bernardo Silva, Conor Gallagher hit, Emiliano Martinez. Wow, people, we finally hit an autograph card. But other than that, people, this collection makes absolutely no sense. So we are going to take a second, read up on the set, the colours, and then summarise today's video. So, people, we have gone away, done some research, and if I'm honest, <laughs> Not a lot still makes sense. I've been on about 10 different websites, people. The colours, no one seems to know. They've not been announced officially by Panini. But we did crack one mystery, and that is that with these Spellbound cards, they are designed to spell out the player's surname. Seven different Ronaldo cards to collect. So Spellbound is really, really cool. Other than that, these parallels are an absolute nightmare. And if I'm honest, I don't think the box helps too much. When you look at the front, it says Premier League, uh, base aspirations Premier League, and status Premier League, number from 99 to 1. Base Red Premier League, Base Orange Premier League. You've got Pink, Purple, Gold, Green and Black from 75 to 1. Uh, and if I'm honest, I don't really understand any of those colours. If any of you guys understand them better than me, then totally let me know. But at the moment, it looks very, uh, very confusing. It's not really sitting in my head. Uh, but we did get a number to 74 aspirations, Dennis. A number to 91 aspirations, Mateo Kovacic. And we did get a Pink number to 49 Kieran and Tierney. And when I look at the back of the box, pink is listed before base orange and base red. Maybe they're base orange and red. These two here, the aspirations. Um, yes, yeah, it's base red and base orange there, Premier League. So maybe um, they're orange and red. But again, if I lift them up, very, very difficult to tell the difference between the two of those. One could be orange, one could be red. Uh, and ultimately, we did very well because we actually hit an autograph card from today's video, which is absolutely nutty. And it's Oliver Skip, number to 199. These are two every 10 boxes per case. So you've got a one in five chance in your box or a one in five chance at a memorabilia card. So we did very, very well uh, from today's video. Ultimately, my personal opinion with these is that they don't make a lot of sense. It's one of the most confusing Panini checklists I've ever looked at in my life, but they're fun to open. And for £80, they're a very, very good price. So I feel very conflicted about these. Opinion on these is you could open a few of them at the price point and have a lot of fun. Only problem with it is there's nothing big to hunt in this. There's no grail cards, maybe other than De Bruyne or Son Kyung Min, or maybe the legends like Bergkamp or Nistelrooy. Very, very fun rip, but not the chance of a very big reward. And other than that, 
the colours don't make a lot of sense. So my recommendation, people, at least rip one of them so that you can say you've done it. Maybe do two to see if you can finish the collection and give yourself two shots at an auto. But 160 quid, I would definitely count cash out after two of them. That's my ultimate recommendation, people. Four out of five stars from Blazy. And maybe we'll do another one if product is scarce over Christmas. Do you know what? We probably will. But for now, that is the end of today's video, people. And if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. Do comment and let me know what you thought of the set. And do subscribe. Never to miss a single box opening from your boy, Blazy. But for now, have a lovely evening, people. And I'll catch you on the next video.